Sports welcomes you to another great NFL matchup. Glad you could be with us. Tonight's game promises to be a good one. Both teams extremely well prepared as the Lions square off against the Titans. Both teams ready for tonight's showdown, so let's head to the field for the kickoff. is just about ready to kick this one away. He got all of that one. From the five-yard line, the 20 hurdles the defender. Kick the offense heads out onto the yard. field for the first time. Our EA Sports coach close-up features two of the more meticulous coaches in the NFL. Steve Mariucci has been with the Lions since 2003. His first two years produced 11 wins and 21 losses, but the future is promising with good talent at the skilled positions. Crosses it right. Sermon is there for the tackle. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. Well, we looked at the first coach in our EA Sports coach close-up. Opposing him will be Jeff Fisher, who took over first as interim head coach in 1994. Since then, he's taken the Titans to two AFC Championship games and one Super Bowl appearance where they came up a yard short against the Rams. Otherwise, the game would have gone to overtime. The Lions come into today's game with one of the most potent offenses in the NFL, John, and clearly they have a chance to blow this one open. The defense has its work cut out for it. But they have to play aggressively and keep pressure on the quarterback if they want to come away with a win in this one. Gives the ball off. Great fake with the pass. And he can't hang on to it. The tight end was right there, but he just couldn't get that pass under control. He did a nice job of getting off the line and getting into his pass pattern. But he had the ball bounce right off his fingertips. Jones looks like he's ready for the return. Here's the kick. From the 31 yard line. Ball on their own 33. Detroit lines up in a 4-3. Troop in motion. Big pop that time. Nine-yard game. It's second down and one to go. Detroit using three linebackers. Gets rid of it, and he makes the grab. Well placed. He puts it just enough in front of his receiver, and it's a first down. So they have first and ten here. Detroit comes out in their nickel package. Throwing. Pass ball's incomplete. Bryant teed off on him and it forced the ball out before he could make the reception. Yeah, and he's either going to get in there and knock the ball out or he's going to knock someone else out. Gets the pass off. Holmes with the tackle. And there's a penalty on the play. I think there was holding up front. The call is holding, and it'll push them back. That's what happens when your feet and your body get going in the wrong position. Ball 
ball on their own 35. Come on, Kofi. The Lions come out in a dime package. Dropping back with the throw. And the catch is made. He did a nice job pulling that one in. This guy spends a lot of extra time at practice running routes. Looks like it's really starting to pay off. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Eight to go. Then lines up in the left slot. Fakes the handoff. Throwing. Incomplete pass. Way too high. On the play. Hantra comes into the game for the punt. Drummond sets up, waiting for the punt. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 23-yard line. Ball on their own 23. Williams is on the right of the formation. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Stiff rocks the defender to the ground. A 15 yard gain right there on first down. First and 10. The Lions line up in the bunch formation. Jones records the tackle at the 39-yard line. Jones battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. It's second down and eight to go. Harrington sends a man in motion. Gets the call. Sermon stops him. Jones kept his legs moving. Gets seven hard-earned yards. Ball on their own 47. The Titans come out of the 4-3. With the carry, Sell makes the tackle, but it's beyond the marker, so they pick up a first down. That'll keep the drive alive. Yeah, and when the defense misses a tackle, when they could have forced a fourth down, I mean, that just will drive a coach nuts. Fifth play of this drive. Ball at midfield. Only one man back. Looking upfield. Misses the tackle. Jones with the stop. Jones takes it up the middle for a yard or two. They have to get the ball inside the 42 to convert. The Titans with a four-man front. Looking to run it here. Williams is there for the tackle at the 41 yard line and that gain will get them a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Only one man in the backfield. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Was some valuable yardage on that run through the middle. He's got to look to make his move earlier. If he sees guys waiting there in the middle, he's got to look for the cutback lane or bounce it out looking for a little more room to the outside. I'll have to get the ball inside the 31 to convert for the first down. Hand it off to the back. The cell makes the tackle. Jones takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. to get the ball inside the 31 to convert for the first down. Williams is on the right of the formation. 
Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. Rodgers was his intended target. He'll try to place this one inside their five. Here's the kick. Fair catch called for. Touchback. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and we're all tied up. The score is tied at zero. The teams have switched sides, and we'll start the second quarter. First and ten. Bennett is lined up on the right. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. And it's complete. And it'll be second and less than two following that pass for decent yardage. I'll tell you, when you've got second and short, you can call just about anything and everything. Because if you don't get it on this play, you can always go back out there on third, and you still only need a yard or two for the first down. Second and a deuce. They give it to the halfback. Even comes up to make the play. Shrugged the head, picked up solid yardage. Ball on their own 35. Hand off to the tailback. Setting up play action. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Bryant makes the tackle. Good pass play that goes for big yardage, John. He always seems to make the big catch in the big situation. He attacks the defense with the routes that he runs, and when he gets into space, hey, watch out. First and ten. Bennett is on the left side of the formation. With the pass, and he hits his target. Reddit takes him down. Not quite far enough to pick up the first down. Yeah, and the guy calling the plays loves this kind of situation. Because on second and short, everything in the playbook is an option. Have to get to the 28, convert for the first down. The Lions come out in a nickel package. Breaks free of the defender. He's caught after it looked like he was going to go all the way. The Titans are handling the defense right now. They haven't even had a third down in this drive. Sixth play of this drive. They're threatening inside the 20. Only one man in the backfield. Hand it off. Lehman is there for the tackle. Brown takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Seventh play of this drive. They're inside the 15. Detroit lines up in a 4-3. Kennedy is there on the stop. Gets the call on the misdirection play and picks up about four yards. The first down marker is just inside the six-yard line. Troy comes out in their nickel package. To the end zone. Nearly intercepted. And let an opportunity go right through his hands. He was looking for the big play the other way, and he let that ball go right through his finger. on its way. The attempt is good. They put up three points. off decent kick we should have a return 
from the seven. The 20. And they were about ready to get this drive started after the last series ended with a punt. So they have first and ten here. Nickelback in this time. Pollard, the motion man. Gets the pass off, and the catch is made. A solid the catch is made the for the first by Thompson. Harrington really put his body into that throw. That ball could have been shot out of a gun with the velocity it had on it. First and ten. Jones is lined up on the right. Rolling right, closing in, and set. Hainsworth explodes across the line at the snap and then makes his way to the quarterback. Yeah, you know, that's an important quality to have if you're going to excel as a pass rusher. Explosiveness. Now they're looking at second and long after the sack. Drops back with the pass. Almost picked off. Close to a big play by the defense. And it probably should have been a big play. He had perfect position to get the interception. He just dropped it. Two-minute warning coming up. Schlesinger is on the right of the formation. He hands it off. Setting up play action. Incomplete pass. Pollard was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Thompson with the coverage. Jones into return. Here's the punt. He signals for a fair catch. Hey, this is why you run those two-minute drills in practice for a situation like this. The only difference is this isn't the scout team defense. Ball on their own 31. Set. Troy comes out in their nickel package. Hey. Hey. Pass play here on first down. Gets the pass off. Lott brings him down at the 41-yard line. As a receiver, you hate to have that ball thrown high because you're stretched out and vulnerable to the big hit by one of those defenders. But this guy's tough, and he'll do what he has to to make the catch in that situation. Bennett lines up on the right side. Breaks free of the defender. Bumble. The Lions pick it up. The defense came up with that one. An effective two-minute drill will give them the opportunity to put some points on the board before the half. And they're ready to go on offense after that fumble. They'll start at the 49-yard line. Schlesing is on the left side of the formation. Drops back. With the throw. This one falls incomplete. Thompson, Waxham, causing the incomplete. I'll tell you, there are plenty of guys in the league who take pride in making hits like that, especially when it causes an incompletion. The defense needs to remember not to play too soft and give up big gains underneath, but they also don't want to play too tight and end up giving up a big play to set them up in scoring position. Pressure. Going for six. Williams was deep down the field, but couldn't haul it in. If they're going to get the first here, they'll need their offensive line to maintain their block and give the quarterback enough time to make a good throw. They line up in the I formation. Under pressure, gets the pass off, and he hits his target. Big gain on that play, 32 yards. On third down. 
I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Detroit will call a timeout here. Red zone opportunities are always a big factor, and they should get at least a field goal out of this drive, as long as they're careful with the football. So they're now inside the 20 and down by three. Jones didn't have much to work with on that running play. And now a second down play as they continue to try to get into the end zone rather than settling for a field goal before the half. Fifth play of this drive. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Trying for the end zone before halftime. Touchdown, Detroit. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown. The kick is up. The point after is good. They get the touchdown, and in doing so, take the lead by four. Great drive that culminates in a trip to the end zone and gives them the lead. That's a big drive that they really needed. The score really swings momentum over to their side, giving them confidence that they can move the ball against this defense. Now it's up to their defense to keep the pressure on. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. It's on its way. From the 13-yard line. The Titans will have to hurry it up as they start to drive. And here's where efficiency is the key. They're down right now, but if they score before the half, it'll really help them out. They just can't afford a turnover that gives the other team a chance to increase the lead. The Lions come out in a 4-3. With the pass. No completion there. Tough break for the offense. He just couldn't bring that pass in. Even though that pass was incomplete, that kind of pass stretches the defense. Softening up the middle for passes underneath while allowing the running game to take advantage of a little more room at the line of scrimmage. He's lined up on the left. Rolling right. This pass is incomplete. McNair saw the pressure coming on that play. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunned the ball out of there. Here's the defense's chance to put an end to this drive. The defensive lineman will be in a full pass rush. So let's see if the guys up front can prevent the sack. Troy comes out in a dime package. With the throw, and this pass is completed. Kenny caught it short of the first down marker. Hentrick will come into this game to punt. Here's the kick. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. Hey, I know they want to increase the lead before half, but they got to be careful and not let the other team back in it with a turnover. Schlesinger lines up on the right side. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Throws it. No completion there. Incomplete Little pass. lob doesn't find the intended, intended receiver on the play. The Titans with a four man front. Steps up with the throw, and the catch is made. 
Bullock holds him down. Big gain on that play, 19 yards on second down. So they have first and ten here. Williams is on the right of the formation. Dropping back to pass on first down. Closing in. Big time pressure by the linebacker on the blitz. I tell you, he did a heck of a job of getting in there and putting a big hit on the quarterback before he had any chance to throw it away or take off with it. Good one here as the first half comes to a close with the score. Troy, seven. Tennessee, three. The kickoff team lines up. Sends it sailing. From the four-yard line. The Titans were contained fairly well in the first half of play. Ball on their own 22. The defense lines up in the deck. Hands it off to the back. Lehman comes up to make the play. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on their own 22. Set. Detroit comes out in a 4-3. Hey. Hey. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Kennedy makes the tackle. Steve McNair, as a quarterback, can make the throw from the pocket or he can make the throw running. Only one man back. McNair with a man in motion. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Brown couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. Ball on their own 42. Kenny moves in motion. Dropping back. Throwing. Almost intercepted. Bailey had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. That's a break for the offense. Fifth play of this drive. is on the right of the formation. It's the pass off. It's caught. Great tackle to save the touchdown. Calico wins the battle in the secondary and comes up with a big play. Yeah, and they said you want to play zone, then we'll just throw in the window. And that's exactly what they did. They're eight yards from the end zone. McNair will work out of the shotgun. The rush gets to him from behind. Reddy gets to him in a hurry. He really overpowered the blocker that time. He's a big, big, strong man. It's second and goal at the 13-yard line. Troy using three linebackers. He tucks it away. The back breaks free. Trying to run it in on second and goal. No dice. It's third and goal at the five-yard line. On the carry. Bailey is there for the tackle. They tried to get it in on the ground, and the defense says, uh-uh, not this time. Much more than an extra point here. And 
and it's on its way. Number three. Makes his second field goal of the game. The Titans have narrowed the gap. They pick up three points on the drive, but they can't be happy with that third down play. Now, I'm not sure they aren't. What separates good teams from playoff teams is the ability to execute in the red zone. And execute is a key word here. If you don't do it to them, then they can do it to you. Hanford will be kicking off. Nice kick and returnable. From the 10. The 20. Detroit, he's holding on by less than a field goal. by the linebacker. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. It's second down and 10 to go. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. Jones was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. Third down and long coming up here. Williams is lined up on the right. Harrington with a man in motion. Looking comfortable in the pocket. Rowing. And the catch is made. The, the Lions get the first down again after being faced with third and a mile for the second time on this drive. First and ten. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Hand it off to the back. Wolfo brings him down. Jones rumbles forward for a gain of four. About six to go. The Titans with a four-man front. Gets the pass off. Bullock stops the play in the backfield. He laid a good hit on him there for his fifth tackle of the game. Harrington throws it out there. The receiver was able to bring it in. Sometimes a play like this can be dangerous. The quarterback needs to make sure that only his receiver can catch it. Because if he puts it in the wrong place, it's easy pickings for the defense. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Tennessee will be charged a timeout. And the coach took a chance, knew he'd have to lose a timeout, but that's the way it goes. That turned out to be a good call. Even though it was challenged, they lost. The only thing they lost in the end was a timeout. The game would have been much greater had it gone the other way. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Knocked away. Cassell got his hands up and tipped the pass away. And that's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. Jones will go back to accept this punt. the punt. This one goes out of bounds. Bennett 
is on the right of the formation. Pass play here on first down. Rowing. The defender's got it. Now that was just a bad decision. Look at this. Two defenders right near the receiver. There are a few guys who think they can squeeze the ball into double coverage, and he's one of them. That time he gambled, and he lost. They'll go with a play fake. Jumps in, he has it. Stop cold well, by Moore. Big well, jump well, there. 21 yards on first down. It's first and 10. The Titans come out in a nickel package. to the halfback a great one-on-one -on -one stop by Thompson he just couldn't shake him and down he goes on a great open field stop I'll tell you the safeties in this league are some of the toughest guys on the field they can hit you with force where they just stop you dead in your track and that hit was definitely a stop dead in your tracks type only one man back Pollard the man in motion Bullock gets right in there and brings him down. Solid game. Picks up another tackle. The linebacker comes up to make the tackle. It's a one-point game as we hit the final quarter of play with the score. Troy, seven. Tennessee, six. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Third down here as they try to get it inside the 25-yard line to convert. The Titans line up in a 4-3. They're trying to jump the snitch count. Five. So he's called for encroachment. Yeah, he jumped early and touched an offensive player, and that forces the officials to blow the whistle. That infraction moves the offense into field goal range. The bats are lined up in an eye. Harrington with a man in motion. Just won't go down. Jones is there on the stop. They had a tough time bringing him down, but finally do before he gets to the marker. The first down marker is just inside the 13. The Titans with a four-man front. On the carry. Williams comes up to make the play. Good gain on the ground gives them what they needed for a first. That's just good running. They sent a couple of blitzes in to try and stop him in the backfield, but he just broke free and got past the sticks for a first down. It's first and goal at the six-yard line. Three, three. Only one man back. Harrington sends a man in motion. To carry it. Williams is the guy who's there to bring him down. First and goal, they can't get into the end zone. It's second and goal at the three-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. They give it to the halfback. Great fake. Lobs one into the end zone. Gets his hand on Fitzsimmons was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Bullock had the coverage on the play. It's third and goal at the three. Pollard, the man in motion. He hands it off. And he's down at the one. Now watch how this defense comes up with a big stop. They're backed up in their own end zone trying to keep those guys off the board, and they make a play like that. That's a heck of a defensive play. And it 
comes up through the uprights and good. The Lions leading in the game, but not by much. So the drive concludes with a field goal, and they seem to be relatively happy with that. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown, so getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't, so the next drive will get them a TD. He's just about ready to kick this one away. Good distance. This one is handled by Roby. The returner found some room to run. Ball on their own 28. Troy comes out in their nickel package. With the throw, drops the interception. Bennett was his intended target. Troy comes out in their nickel package. Gets the pass off, and it's complete. And he ducks out of bounds at the 39. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Head coach Steve Mariucci is very unhappy with that call, and he throws the flag. Well, from here, it looks like they made the right call. Looks like the coach is looking for a little luck on this one. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Detroit will be charged with timeout. And the coach took a chance, knew he'd have to lose a timeout, but that's the way it goes. That turned out to be a good call. Even though it was challenged and they lost, the only thing they lost in the end was a timeout. The game would have been much greater had it gone the other way. With the carry, fakes the handoff. With the pass, ooh, nearly picked off. Calico was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Only one man in the backfield. McNair sends a man in motion. Drops back. Holmes is there on the stop. Picked up a few yards on the scramble, John. He's one of those guys who's willing to run to make something happen. You have to be aware of that kind of thing on defense. Fifth play of this drive. Seven yards to go. is lined up on the right. They'll go with a play fake. With the throw. And he can't keep both feet in. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is. Where the defenders are. And where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. Hunt number three is upcoming. Here's the punt. Andy waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 16-yard line. First and ten. The Titans with a four-man front. Starts comes up to make the play. Jones wasn't able to get anything going on that play. Second and ten. The Titans come out in a nickel package. 
Pollard, the motion man. Hands it off. Cassell is there for the tackle on the run. The linebacker brought him down to the turn. Ball on their own 19. The Titans come out in a nickel package. Harrington with a man in motion. Two minutes left. Come out in a dime package. Hand it off to the back. Cassell makes the stop. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. And they made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock. Not the force any. This is a luxury of being ahead. He's ready to punt this one away. Jones sets up to run back the punt. Here's the kick. Fair catch called for. First and ten. Bennett lines up on the right side. No pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. Good timing. Getting in between the ball and the receiver to save what would have been a big game. The defense just can't play prevent and then think they can just tighten it up and make a stop at the end. They should play aggressive enough where they can make a play but won't be in position to get burned. The lineup of six defensive backs. Pressure. Good coverage team there, creating problems for the quarterback. He's had a tough time making reads when the defense mixes up their zone. What you want to do is look to the middle of the field or the seam right between the corner and the safety for completion. Throws it. Goes up. Makes the catch. He's rushing the offense back to the line. With the pass, he finds his man. They want to hurry it up here. Dropping back to the pass on first down. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Roby continues to be a reliable target. That's his third catch of the game. They're going to keep it moving here. They're heading straight to the line. Can't bring him down. Ready. Makes the tackle. Pretty good coverage downfield, so he decided to pack it in, picked up a handful in the process. And that's just the kind of thing he'll do. He's very good at creating opportunities with his leg. Nowhere to go with it on that play. Good coverage downfield had a lot to do with that play. He dropped back in zone coverage, never giving the quarterback an option. Under pressure, wrapped up. Look here, this is not what a quarterback is supposed to do on fourth down. It's your last shot. You're going for it. At least throw it up there and give your guy a shot. The sack is definitely not what you're looking for here. The defense has a timeout left, but it won't help them. Kneel downs can end the game, running out the clock. Here's the kneel down by the quarterback. The boy stops the clock with that timeout. And a kneel down here on second down is the most likely scenario. Second and long. The 
No need for anything else but taking a knee here to finish this one out. He'll take a knee. Third and long. Looks like they'll take a knee right here and savor the victory. score is Detroit 10, Tennessee 6. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.